we have a familiar question here. How would text two respond to text one? Let's read it in reverse to see. Uh, text two, in their self-portraits, Bolognese uh, artists typically avoided referring to the act of painting until the mid-1600s. However, Lavinia Fontana's 1577 painting self-portrait at the keyboard stands out as the earliest example of such a work by an artist from Bologna. Although the artist is depicted playing music in the background, one can spot a painting easel by a window. Okay, so depiction of art, I guess. I don't know, of painting. Uh, who cares? Let's look at A. Or text one. Italian painters in the 1500s rarely depicted themselves in their work. Even more rare were self-portrait paintings that portrayed the artist as a painter. At the time, painting was not yet respected as a profession, so painters mostly chose to emphasize other qualities in their self-portraits, like their intellect or social status. In the city of Bologna, the first artist to depict themselves painting was a man named Annabal Caracci. A painting of his from around 1585 showed Caracci uh, shows Caracci in front of an easel holding a palette. Well, okay. Now I get it. What is the what is the difference? Like it's a different person. Uh, yeah, different person, right? They they both think someone else is the first one. This one is Lavinia Fontana. This one is Anabali Karachi. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing those names right. I don't care. So how would they respond? Let's see. Uh, a Karachi and Fontana were among the most well respected painters in Bologna at the time. No. Who cares? Who, who cares what people thought of them, right? They're, they're different people. Uh, B, the depiction of Fontana and self-portrait at the keyboard was intended to underscore the artist's creativity. But yeah, maybe. But it, it, the whole point is they have different people that they think are the first person. Let's keep going. C, Fontana likely inspired the reference to an easel and palette in Karachi's paintings. No, this is way too strong. We never have any connection between these two people, right? We're, they're just different people named by the different texts. So to say one inspired the other, very, very big claim, very strong. D, self-portrait, the keyboard was painted earlier than Karachi's painting. It also refers to the artist's craft. Well, let's see, is it earlier? Yeah, 1577 versus 1585. Yeah, plus even without the earlier part, right? I, I checked it because why not? But like the whole point was that they're, they're naming a different person. So D is the only thing that's actually about that being a different person, right? Like being a different first uh, portrait. So yeah, I don't think it's a particularly hard question. Um, just goes to show, right? This is one where they give us a lot of details about people we wouldn't know. And there's maybe a temptation to start memorizing those details and writing those down and including them in our summary. No, keep it simple. The details aren't going away. The passages are there. If we need to go back and look at the years, they're right there, right? We can do that. We don't need to memorize that stuff. We don't need to jot that down. So just get the most basic, dumbest summary that you can. That is usually all you need to solve questions.